week I'm going to take you through the process of how I did this Steve Carino Champions Collection portrait. Started off by adding a swipe of red in the background, then uh, black on each side of that. Uh, the black frames the figure and then the red adds a little bit of violent emotion to it. I also put a little spritz of spray paint over that uh, just to give it a little more texture. Uh, now coming in to do the figure, uh, so much of my approach is about high contrast and I use a lot of black. It's kind of a signature of my work. You can see in the background there. But uh, uh, for this one I thought I would skew that a little bit and instead use tones that would normally be mid-tones with my work but I'm making those the darkest part of the figure. So the blue that I'm coming up in with now and a little bit of that uh, lighter purple, um, those are uh, uh, going to be the darkest parts that we see on here. Uh, now coming in with a little bit of the mid-tones, uh, further defining the figure. And uh, I was starting to feel a little too... like the all the different planes in there were a little too uh, hard-edged. Uh, so I actually uh, put the paint directly on the surface straight out of the tube and then mixed it together both with brush and with my finger. Uh, to give it, uh, you know, lighter gradients and, and uh, a little softer feel to it. Uh, now coming in with his facial hair and, and a few other details, um, because those would be on top of the flush that I had just painted. That way I'm not having to paint around those areas. And coming in with the whites, uh, first highlights in the hair, and then for the rest of the figure to really make this whole approach pop. And there's the finished piece. Not bad. Cool stuff! Last week I held my second Make-A-Wish Wrestling Art Show fundraiser. Uh, had a bunch of my paintings on display, met so many great people, uh, had the fundraiser uh, raffle as well, which was such a neat experience. Uh, the best part, though, was when David, the young man who uh, this fundraiser was for, and his family came to see the work, and uh, knowing that I was helping to make his wish come true to go to Disneyland. Uh, I was also, through the generosity of WWE, able to provide them with second row and third row tickets uh, for a bunch of the friends and family to go to the show as he smacked down in person. That was me. And, as you can see, I met The Undertaker. Yes, that's really him. Bye, stuff! Time to pay the bills. Got two new limited edition prints. Uh, first one of Yokozuna, second of Bam Bam Bigelow, only 25 of each made, each for only $25. See you next week!